Well, I think she's under investigation by the FBI, and that investigation is widening. She has not told the truth, and it has endangered the lives of people. I mean, this is, uh, this is a candidate that is weak beyond belief, and uh, when Bernie Sanders is beating her by, as you said, 30 points in New Hampshire, an avowed socialist, who's someone who's already proposed something like $19 trillion of new spending over the next 10 years, you know that she's vulnerable. And we have to win to restore America's greatness by reforming the things that are broken. We have to reform how we tax and regulate and keep America safe with a much stronger military and a commander in chief that will, will, will support our military across the board. And those are the things that are more important than who, you know, he should, you know, all the stuff that goes back and forth in the campaign. That's natural. That's part of campaigning. But more importantly is I think we need to get discussing now the issues that are important for Americans. Yeah. You know, I look at this inspector general report. Now you have talking about the intelligence yeah. community inspector general, a guy by the name of Charles McCullough, and what they found in their findings after a review of intelligence agents. They've now identified, on top of the 1,300 emails that were classified in Hillary's server, an additional several dozen emails that had a classification level beyond top secret, a, a special access program, SAP classification. Um, every one of those is an indictable offense, a, a, a felony. Do you think she might be indicted here? I think it's possible. I think we ought to let the process move forward. Here's the deal. Every chance she's had in her in her public life, she has pursued her personal ambition at the expense of service and expense of our country. The fact that she, as a senator, passed three laws that she sponsored, naming a highway, naming a monument, naming a library, and then as Secretary of State, she brags about traveling, but really there's no record of accomplishment. And now we know that she had a private server where she violated, at a minimum, violated the, the procedure set up for the State Department uh, imposed by the White House. And possibly because of this investigation, she may have broken the law. And this is someone you cannot trust. And so, yeah, we're having a heated debate in our primary, which is healthy and fine. Uh, I'm, I'm participating in that. But at the end of the day, we're united uh, around defeating her.